Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you doing tonight? Hi. Are you guys okay tonight? Okay? Not okay. So so. Kind of, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's count from one to ten. How do you feel tonight? From one to ten. Yolanda, from one to ten, how do you feel tonight? Do you feel ten? Yeah. Or do you feel one? How do you feel? Do you feel ten? Or do you feel three? Nine. Nine, yay, there you go, yes. What about you, Yenny? From one to 10. Um, uh, I feel 10. 10, I yay, feel... there you go. Yes. Maria Fernanda, from one to 10, how do you feel tonight? Six. Six, okay, we will see, was oh. your day busy? Are you busy <laughs> at your work? Yes. So you're tired. Okay, Same. let's try to get this for just for the class, all right? <laughs> let's add just four more, all right? Um, okay, we hello, Carla. Welcome, Carla Nayeli. Welcome. Uh, people, yesterday I was checking a different list. Um, and I think this is why it didn't match when I was checking the attendance. Mm. But now we have the right uh, code of the class. Okay, now it is okay. So I sent it to, uh, to the, I'm sorry. I sent it to the WhatsApp chat yesterday, just as a manner to confirm the people who is enrolled to the course. Okay. Um, la verdad que esto es de acuerdo como van entrando los doc la documentación, ¿verdad? Entonces llega un momento en que, eh, como se va llenando el cupo, no es que se va reservando así los, los 20 juntos, ¿verdad? Sino que eh, el que va entrando va ocupando lugar en el grupo siguiente. Por ejemplo, ahorita, si todos quieren estar en el mismo grupo para el siguiente, aunque no es eh, garantizado, ¿verdad? Todos lo deben de meter al mismo tiempo, rápido, ¿verdad? Rápido. Antes de finalizar el curso... Ustedes ya tienen que haber enviado la documentación y hecho su eh, reserva, ¿verdad? Porque eso es una reserva. Eh, se confirma su inscripción hasta que ya usted ha pasado el curso, si cumple con la asistencia, si cumple con el 80%, si hizo su encuesta de satisfacción. Entonces, hay que apurarse y hacerlo en el tiempo correspondiente, ¿verdad? Meter sus papeles. Eh, estar haciendo tus tareas correctamente para que sea de los primeros y vayan quedando en un grupo si es que la idea pues es seguir juntos, ¿verdad? Y si no, pues vamos acostumbrándonos a que el próximo grupo probablemente va a cambiar, alguno eh, va a pasar a otro grupo, pero eso no quiere decir que está malo, ¿no? Al contrario, se enriquece el aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Se enriquece, así que eh, Sí, ayer yo estaba chequeando un eh, listado y no era el que debía haber revisado. Sí me lo habían enviado y todo, pero yo no chequeé el nuevo. Entonces, eh, ahora sí ya lo tengo cabal y por eso les confirmé el día de ayer eh, los que sí estaban en este grupo. ¿Okay? Así que sí, claro que ustedes pueden tener su grupo de amistad y todo, pero... Eh, las cuestiones ya de la escuela, digamos, del, del curso de inglés, son específicas para cada uno y hay que esperar información oficial, ¿verdad? De que si usted no lo ha recibido, es por alguna razón, porque va a participar con otros, ¿verdad? con otro grupo. Así que hay que tener su paciencita. Y las diferencias de fecha son mínimas, ¿ok? Son mínimas. Lo que sí, como repito, hay que hacerlo a tiempo, para no quedarnos esperando el siguiente cupo, ¿verdad? Para ir manteniendo el ritmo acá, ¿verdad? Ok, people, after this commercial, 
Después de este anuncio comercial de nuestros patrocinadores, vamos a pasar al tema del día de hoy. We are going to jump right into the new topic. Okay. Remember, this is the module two. So in the module two, we are just going to start with the work events. Work related. Okay, work related. Events means actions, events means responsibilities, means activities. Okay. So events, that word means activities, actions, responsibilities, roles. So this is why yesterday we um started um uh, Okay, Juan Carlos, thank you for letting me know. Um, eyes on the road. Okay, yeah, greetings to you too. Uh, <clears throat> so we good saw- Good evening, the... teacher. Hi, good evening, Francisco, welcome. Okay. Um... No había respondido porque venía manejando del trabajo. Oh, all right, all right, no problem, no problem. So now we may start. Good evening, teachers. Hello, I good evening, Okay, great. Welcome. Well, um, let's go just to the part we want to study tonight because tonight we have this very interesting, interesting topic. Okay. And the topic is time expressions. Time expressions. Okay, here we are, time expressions. We have time expressions for each tense. Okay, para cada tiempo verbal existe una serie de time expressions. Time expressions, we express the window time. We play the action in time, okay? We give a clue when the action happens. We can talk about hours, days, months, years, etc. Okay then, our agenda for today is that we want to present the objective uh, for this class. Then we have some speaking, reading, and grammar exercises uh, in, uh, as a manner of feedback. Then we have the short briefing about the time expressions. And in the breakout rooms, we are going to practice a conversation about a secretary. What's a secretary? Uh, then we want to talk about our daily routines, okay? What is our daily routine? We know how to say that, but we want to practice it. And the session one-on-one -on -one tonight is for... For the number two in the list, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> That's for Diana Elizabeth Ramirez Arevalo. Okay, today you have your 10 minutes for any dot, any question you have. All right, then let's look at the okay. objective for today. Okay, the objective actually is just to use, yeah, just to use the simple present tense statements and time expressions too. So let's just read it. Okay, let's read the objective. The class objective is participants will be able to use simple present tense statements and time expressions. Um, Jenny, could you please read the objective? Uh, Parsi, no sé cómo se dice esa primera palabra. As, as it is, participants. Participants will be able to see simple present distance is la siguiente. 
A ver, usted ya sabe las letras ahí. Vamos haciéndolo juntas. Dele. Comience usted y yo la sigo. Vamos. Stains, means, uh, yes, you did it, you did it, Jenny, you see. <laughs> Así que no se me detengan. Ustedes síganlo leyendo. Aquí no hay duda. Vamos, vamos. Uh -huh. Statements. Anti-expression. You see, you can do it. Yes, Jenny. Very well done. Okay. okay, yes. We are going to use the simple present tense statements and time expression. Simple present tense statements and time expressions. All right. This is what we are going to study tonight. But yesterday, we were studying, some other feedback, uh, these lists. You remember? I wake up early and... We said the three things that we first do in every Monday, okay? On Mondays, uh, we usually do three first things. So, okay. Uh, I, will I will present the vocabulary from yesterday. Okay. The vocabulary from yesterday was this one. So remember, wake up, get up, leave, get a drink, etc. Okay. And I will call the roll. All right. Voy a llamar la, la asistencia, perdón, voy a pasar la lista de asistencia en este momento. Pero requiero que cuando usted diga presente, when you say present, vamos a necesitar que usted nos diga, what are the three first things you do on Monday? Ok, vaya pensándola de una vez. Adriana Lisset Chávez López. Present, teacher. Okay. I, I drink the coffee. I take a shower. Um, I go to work. Great. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez Arevalo. I take my cell phone. I get up. Get get to get up to my work. And, okay. no. and, I get up, I get up, es que me levanto. Uh -huh. I go to my work, es que me voy al trabajo. I go to my work and I go to the bank. All right, good. Flor de María Valladares de Torres. Present teacher. Uh -huh. I... I usually um a Monday on Monday um is I got a fight by dirty uh, dirty I am and I I take a Mm, ¿Cómo se dice? Yo cocino el desayuno. I cook. I, cook. I, cook. Uh, I cook, um, breakfast. Okay, I cook great. Breakfast. Yes. Uh -huh. And I drink coffee. All right. Thank you. Thank you very I much. Uh -huh. Now, let's continue, guys, with Francisco Javier Quinteros de Cheverría. Oh, he's, he's driving, he's driving. Okay, thank Present. you. I drink coffee, and I bread fat, and sit at sit a.m. I go to work. All right, thank you, Francisco. Harrison Osvaldo Vera Santana. Ok, 
aquí. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Present. I, I get out at uh, 5.30 I am. I, uh, I, I cook my breakfast and I take a shower. I go to my work. Okay, thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Present. I wake up at 7 a.m. I take a shower. I brush my teeth. Great. Thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Karen Gemima Membreño. Uh, no sé si es Gemina o Gemima. Um, Gemim, Gemina. Lick. Ah, okay. Thank you. Karen Gemina Membreño. Ajá. Uh -huh. Correct. I I take a shower. I drink coffee. I go to my work. Okay. Thank you. Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. I wake up early. I take a shower and I brush my teeth. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Diaz. Not Kimberly yet. Not yet. Yeah, there you are, Kimberly Miranda, right? <laughs> I iron my clothes, I brush my hair, and I go to work. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. Okay, let's continue with the list. Maria Fernanda Moran Rivas. Present. And, and I got up by I am. I took a bath, eat, and I went to work. Okay, that's in the past tense. Now, in the present tense, right? Hay que arreglar ah, que como, ah, no, que yo entendí que era lo que hice ayer lunes. Oh, oh okay. No, no. Every Monday. Okay. Every ah, Monday. ahora. All Mondays. Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. todos los lunes. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. But thank you very much. You did a good job also. Salomón Heriberto Rivera Chacón. Not yet. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present teacher. When I arrive at work, uh, I drink coffee, I check my email, uh, I call client. Thank you very much. Very good answer. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Iron. Present. I live home at 8 a.m. I drink coffee. I check um, my email and Facebook. <laughs> okay. I go on Facebook. I go on Facebook. Okay, nice. <laughs> Thank you. Walter Amilka Ramirez Molina. And Walter, not yet. Okay. Uh, Wendy Sofia Orellana Calderón. Wendy Janet Baires Rojas. Good evening, coach. Good evening. I'm sorry, Wendy. We are saying the three first things we do on Mondays. We are wake up 7 a.m. Uh, um, um, take a shower. And finally, drinking uh, orange juice. Okay, great. Very healthy. All right. Yenny Carolina Tobar Velasquez. 
um, present and uh, wake up three four forty a.m. Um, take a shower after drink coffee. At three. Uh -huh, three. Uh, oh my goodness! Yeah. Really? <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay then. Nice to know. Thank you, Jenny. Yolanda Perez de Sanchez. Hello, teacher. Present teacher. I take a shower um four a.m. I drink a coffee six a.m. Um I had breakfast um eight a.m. Okay, thank you very much, people. So the number two in the list is Diana Elizabeth Ramirez Arevalo. So today is your turn to stay after the class, the 10 minutes, okay? So you okay. can prepare your questions or your comments or so on. Okay, people, so okay. let's go back to the class. We were talking about the feedback, right, that we want to uh, complete today. Remember that we have the conjugation of verbs. Conjugation of verbs. Remember that with the third person, we add a letter S to the verb. Remember? We add a letter S to the verb. Instead of saying, I cook or I prepare my dinner, I will say, she prepares her dinner or she prepares dinner for her family, right? So we are going to add the S, yeah, the S plus the complement. So let's try to, I will say one verb in the base form, and you will tell me the third person form of the verb, okay? So let's start then, and let's do it this way. For example, she, I will give the verb, right? She um, go, I will say the verb and you will say the third person. Go to work, go to work. What is the third person for go? Mm -hmm. uh, goes goes correct can you spell these there please how do you spell it g o it goes yes yes tell me verdad que esa es la que para el she he it it goes exactly mm -hmm. yeah she goes to work Okay, and we need a complement. A complement can be a time expression. For example, she goes to work every day. Every day is a time expression. Yeah, we do. We did it. Okay, goes to work every day. All right. Uh, let's think another Third verb. Person. Third person. Exactly. She goes to work every day. All right. Another verb. Another verb. This is. Um, and let me to remember these. Uh, right. What? Watch. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Sergio. She watch TV. Okay, let's transform this into the third person. She watch watches. We need to pronounce this correctly. Yeah, what chest. chest. We have to add ES, right? E we e add the letter ES. Mm -hmm. She watches TV in the evening. Time expression to complete the sentence. So we are placing the action in time. Estamos diciendo el momento en que lo hace. Eso es nuestro complemento, una time expression en este momento, ¿sí? Uh, she goes to work every day. She watches TV in the evening. Uh, when does she do something or anything? So and this is what we are going to complement. All right. She has to, to... a dog. Mm, he yes. does hip hop. Mm -hmm. Modal. 
uh, no, but has is not a modal verb in this case. This is a possession. Uh, oh, okay. Meaning, yes. Right. See, yes, the positive yes. meaning. It's okay. Can, it's can mm -hmm. is modal. Smaller. Can is modal, but it's also a main verb. Okay. Can yeah. is a modal verb, but it's also a main verb. For example, okay. if I talk about ability, I say can. Right. Mm -hmm. I can write. I can walk. I can. Has I, is mm -hmm. how uh, is has verb in in two no, no. in two person. Yeah, the third person exactly. Right. Have. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we do with this verb that ends in the letter e? Uh huh. It ends in the letter e. Do I add? Dancing. No. S. S. Yes. Yeah, Only add letter s. Right. Only add letter s. Dances. Dance. Dance. Okay, we have to pronounce dance. this. She dances. She dances. Okay. She dances ballet. Okay. Very often. Okay. She da dances ballet very often. Muy seguido, right? Okay. Let's look another verb. Sings. Sing. Okay. Cantar. Mm -hmm. Sings con yes. S al final. Yeah. Uh -huh. How do we spell the third person? S I N G S S correct. She sings beautiful beautifully, yeah, beautifully. Bay. Right. Uh, let's see another. She what about started. okay, there you go. Study. Mm -hmm. What do I have to do to transform this in the into the third person form? Studious. Okay, I have to cancel letter Y and change it for a letter I in studies. S. Yes. Yes. Studies. 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 Okay. She studies English. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. So the same is going to be for the male, right? For the male subject. A male subject is exactly the same. You see, he goes to work every day. He watches TV in the evening. He has a dog. He dances ballet very often. He sings beautifully. He studies English. What is missing in these ones? Uh, for example, he has a dog, okay? We don't have a time expression because we always have the dog until it dies, right? So we don't see any a uh, time expression in the present, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what about studies English? Yes, we can add a time expression. We, I'm sorry, he studies English every evening okay every evening okay then let's talk about the time expressions then remember goes watches has dances sings studies okay remember the rules we have two uh, kind of verbs we have regular verbs and we have irregular verbs okay so let's talk about the irregular verbs okay irregular they change okay they change we have for example study we have for example verb have okay we have uh, another example like uh cry and all that and in the letter y right um uh, go. Mm -hmm. uh, we have do. Yeah. Uh, what else? Mm. Okay. The irregular ad. I E S or E S. Okay. For the third person. What about the regular ones? Well, the regulars don't change. Broke. Just add letter S, okay? And let's do the example. 
Uh, what did you say? I'm sorry. Paul. Mm -hmm. Okay, Paul. Like this. Listen. Drinks. Book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Walk, work, etc. Okay. Thank Enjoy. you, regular. I'm sorry. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay. So these are regular and we add only a letter S. And this is the most of verbs. Okay, this is the most of verbs. We need to see the ending of each verb. Tenemos que ver que los irregulares van a cambiar de acuerdo a la terminación de el verbo. Por ejemplo, si terminan en una letra O, si terminan en una letra, letra en las letras SH, CH, um, X, eh, o en la letra... Bueno, doble S. Yeah, double S. And the, the letter S too. Mm -hmm. C. And the letter Z, I think. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are going to add ES. And those that end in a letter Y, but preceded by a consonant, right? Consonant plus the Y. Then we are going to change this into an IE. Okay, let's do the example. Study, studies. Um, <clears throat> and have is the only one that changes completely. Have, has. Okay, have, has. So let's say, for example, let's put this in a different way. Just. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Goes. Watch. Okay. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Wash. Another mm, with double S. Kiss. Okay. So if we write the third person for these verbs are watches, washes, kisses. Right. There you go. So now here is studies. Mm, I need to change. A little bit this way. Okay, then we have the ES ending, right? And we need to learn how to pronounce them. For example, this is das, das, specific pronunciation. It's not those, it's not da, uh, dos, mm -mm. this is das, das. And this is goes, goes, okay, goes. Y nosotros los salvadoreños debemos esforzarnos porque suene esta letra S en la pronunciación. Si no la pronunciamos, es, se nos oye equivocado. Es como que estemos hablando como eh, ella querer comer. ¿okay? Así se nos va a oír. ¿okay? Así o como el plural. gringo habla mal acá. ¿verdad? Tenemos que pronunciar la letra S ¿sí? para la tercera persona. She wants to eat. Wants to. Wants to. Okay, uh, en esta, por ejemplo, he watches the birds flying, for example, watches. If we don't say watches and we say watch, mm, estamos diciendo él o ella ver, okay? ella mirar. No decimos la forma correcta. Okay, a ver. 
Y se comprende todo lo que hemos hablado como a manera de recordatorio. Ok. Bien. Vamos a ver entonces. A esto solo le agregamos letter S. Eats, calls, puts, listens, etc. Ok. Cooks, walks, enjoys. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, it's very important also. We are talking about activities related to work. Okay. Vamos a hablar de actividades relacionadas al trabajo. Activities related to our jobs. Okay, this is the third person, remember? And this is the vocabulary. ¿Qué sucede cuando yo quiero hacerlo negativo? Negativo. Negative sentences. In the third person and then in the plural. Ok. Veamos la de la tercera persona. Que es lo que un poquito más nos... Tal vez al estudiante le, se le va dificultando un poquito más. Vamos a ver. Does not sería nuestro auxiliar más la partícula not para negar algo. Esto es como digamos como que nosotros en español decimos solo no. Ok. En inglés no podemos decir solo not. Necesitamos el auxiliar del tiempo verbal que estemos hablando, que estemos usando. Por lo tanto, también tenemos que usar time expressions correctly. Debemos usar también las time expressions correctamente. Entonces vemos, tenemos does not y lo podemos contractar como doesn't. Does not es solo para negativos y solo el auxiliar solo se usa en la forma negativa y en las preguntas. En la forma afirmativa usamos el verbo. Sí, miren, acá tenemos el verbo. He writes letters. We added letter S because the verb ends in a letter E. Okay, so he writes letters. She checks his email. All right, how do we negate this thing? We said, in the affirmative way, she writes letters monthly. Ah, monthly is a time expression, right? Every month. So, she writes letters monthly. Let's say this in a negative way. Things that she doesn't do. So, we will say, she doesn't write letters monthly. Cuando ya lo pasamos al negativo, no le vamos a agregar letra S. Miren, acá es la forma base. Fijémonos bien en eso. Doesn't ya no requiere la letra S en la oración. So, she doesn't write letters monthly. Ok, si yo quiero negar que él chequea su email o revisa su email, he doesn't check his email. Ok. He doesn't check his email. Check, no S. Okay? He doesn't check his email. Now, let's go over there a little farther. A little farther, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Just give me one, one. Shut. All right. I apologize, guys. Okay. Let's transform these activities into negative. Okay, organizes meetings will be, uh-huh, mm 
Mm -hmm. It becomes, doesn't, organize meetings. Okay. Now let's see the other one. Let's transform it into negative. Mm -hmm. Everybody, please. Uno podría ser she washes TV. Um, eh, no, no, no. Estamos transformando estos que están acá. Okay. Ah, solo esos. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Doesn't schedule appointments. Este es el vocabulario que estamos aprendiendo el día de hoy, que es prácticamente el de toda la unidad, ¿verdad? Activities. Las activities write a report. Ok, se forman con un verbo y un complemento. Una actividad viene dada por un verbo y un complemento. Ok, eh, solo el verbo es un verbo, una acción. Pero si ya hablamos con un complemento, se convierte en activity, en actividad. So doesn't write a report. Thank you. Now, what about the next one? Doesn't, doesn't balance, balance the account. account. Doesn't balance the, the account. account. Accounts. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Doesn't, doesn't take, take out, out the, the garbage. garbage. Okay. What about the next one? Doesn't clean, clean up the excess area. Yeah. Area. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Doesn't send, send emails. Emails. Okay, there you go. So. Uh, he doesn't organize meetings. She doesn't schedule appointments. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't balance the accounts, right? It doesn't balance the accounts. It could be an application, so we can say it too. Uh, he doesn't take out the garbage. She doesn't clean up the sales area. She doesn't send emails, all right? Entonces, pongámonos ubicados. Tenemos actividades. Cuando se menciona y le dicen, eh, please, uh, que, que hable usted de actividades, activities, what activities do you do every day? That will be the verb and a complement. Okay? A verb and a complement. Verb and a complement. Pero si le preguntan, por ejemplo, what does he do? Están pidiendo una oración completa. La oración completa lleva subject, verb, and complement. Remember that. It's important. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, yes. Um, in number seven, uh, what is? Uh, what this is? One. It, it balanced the calm. This account. It balances the it. accounts. Eh, no necesariamente solo con it, porque puede ser un contador que sea niña o niño, ¿verdad? But, um, male or female. So he balances the accounts, puede ser el contador. She balances the accounts, puede ser la que le ayuda al contador. It balances the accounts, puede ser una aplicación de Google, ¿verdad? Esto es para todos los pronombres en tercera persona. He, she, it. Es según para lo que va a dar a entender. Pero aquí está. Exactly. Uh -huh. Depende de quién está realizando esa acción, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Así es. El sujeto va a ser quien hace la acción. Um, for example, here we've got the same activities in a different order, okay? And we could see some 
uh, or we can visualize this in a very in a different way. Okay, in a different way. Okay, here you've got. It. For example, if we say she, yeah, she writes letters, she checks her email, she organizes meetings, she schedules appointments, she writes uh, reports, okay, he writes letter, he checks his email, um, he organizes meetings, he schedules appointments, he writes a report. Quiere decir que puede ser para cualquier Sujeto en tercera persona. Any subject in the third person, right? It could be he or she or it balances the account, right? Uh, and so on with others, other options, right? So as a matter to remember, we see that the verbs ending in S, S, H, O, X, we add ES, like watch, watches, guess, guess, finish, finishes. The important part here is not the ES is the pronunciation, okay? Let's pronounce this correctly. Watch, watches, okay? Everybody, watch, watches. Please repeat. Watch, watch watches. Watch, watches. Guess, guesses. Guess, guesses. Guess, guess. guess. Finish, guess. finishes. Finish, finishes. Finishes. Go, Goes. Go, go, go. Fix, fixes. Mommy. Fix, fixes. Fix, fixes. Do, does. Do, does. Do, does. Okay. Then we have the other ending that we said with the letter Y plus the IES, right? We have to change it plus a consonant. Study, studies. Carry, carries. Fly, flies. Again, study, studies. Carry, carry. Fly, flies. Please repeat. Study, studies. Study, studies. Carry, carry. Carry, fly. Flies. Fly, flies. All right. There we go. So, uh, ¿quieren jugar un ratito? Yes, we do, right? Vamos a jugar tripachuca un ratito, ¿sí? This is cat gut. <laughs> cat gut. Tripas de gato, se llama. Okay? Cat gut. Hey, así, lo voy a escribir para que sepan cómo se dice tripachuca en inglés. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see, mire. Cat, gut, okay. Panza de gato, tripa de gato. <laughs> All right, that's cat, gut. Vamos a unir, okay, el verbo en su forma base con un verbo, o sea, en forma, en la tercera persona, con su respectiva tercera persona. Pero eso sí, aquí hay unos que no están correctos. Entonces, usted tiene que buscar el que sí es correcto. Y la regla, la norma es que no debe tocar ninguna de las líneas que sus compañeros hayan hecho. ¿Ok? Así que, a ver, levante la mano quien quiere ir primero. Todo porque es más fácil, ¿verdad? ¿no? <risa> Ay. Ajá. Ok, Francisco, ¿está there. Aquí, por aquí. Ah, oh, perdón, Sergio, ok. Yes, 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 yes. Va, va primero eh, Sergio, después va Francisco, ok. Va. Sí, para... Permítanme un momento, Ajá. permítanme, okay, voy a ubicar okay. esto. Mm -mm -mm. Va, ahí estamos listos. Ustedes pueden ingresar a la pantalla. A ver, Sergio, are you ready? ¿Estará correcto? Is it correct? Yes, correct. No, no. <laughs> no los que it is terminan not correct. Los que terminan en Y lleva 
y es y es y es, pues sí, pero sí, no, Sergio, pero se equivocó. pero acuérdense cuál es la regla la letter Y es tiene curva. que ir acompañada de una De consonante una consonante. si no lleva consonante y letter Y no podemos hacer el cambio solo agregamos letra S ok va acordémonos de las reglas vamos a ver Ok. Ay, Sergio, pero ya no lo podía corregir. Hoy lo tenía que hacer otro. <risa> Vaya, vamos a ver. Ajá. ¿Quién me hizo No, este yo amarillo? take, take. Este amarillo, ¿quién me lo hizo? ¿Este de take? I, ¿Quién es? I am sorry. Sergio. Sergio. ¿Y este rojo, quién me lo hizo? No me aparece quién me lo hace. A ver, la cuestión es que todos participemos y, la, y no le vamos a hallar emoción si no vamos por turnos, ¿ok? Vale, vamos a ver entonces. Eh, bueno, Javier Estadis, hizo una ahí. Estadis. Ok, no lo ha tocado, no lo ha tocado. Ahí no fue out. <ríe> no tocó al jugador, oh, no tocó la base. Vale, vamos a ver quién sigue después de Javier. Mi teacher. Ok, Diana, come in. Juan Carlos. ¿Qué pasó, Juan Carlos? Es que vamos por turnos, Juan Carlos. Ok. Si no, no le vamos a hallar emoción. ¿Estuvo Dayana? Entonces sí puedo. Sí, 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 dele, dele. Es que Juan Carlos se metió ahí en el, en el verde, creo que es Juan Carlos. Él ya hizo uno. Ok. Ok, Brings. Ajá, ¿Quién va, a ¿quién va a seguirlo? Who wants to go next? Me, teacher. Ok, Jacqueline, go ahead. Okay, schedule, schedules. Very good. Uh -huh. Now, who wants to go next? Me, teacher. Okay, please. Ay, qué trabajo estoy ya. Si pierde, le, si toca alguna linecita, les toca penitencia, ¿ok? A penalty. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Ok, balance, balances. Very good. Uh -huh. Who goes next? Mi teacher. Ok, Adriana, go ahead. Uh, Adriana. Oh, 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 oh. <risa> cuen, cuen, Se cuen. me fue. Oh, ok. A ver, ¿qué penitencia le vamos a poner a Adriana? Vamos a ver, everybody, ¿qué penitencia? Veamos. Ya sé. Say the vowels in English. Say the vowels. Que diga las vocales. Say the vowels. Muy fácil, el abecedario. <laughs> <laughs>
Ok, Adriana. A Sei de... Ajá. A E I O U Yay! Very good. Continue, guys. Continue. Who wants to go next? A ver, vamos a decir un nombre porque ya de aquí para allá con la penitencia ya nadie quiere participar. Bueno, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Gerson, please, come to the board. Es que no han dejado espacio, Stitch. <risa> ya nadie quiere. <risa> no, todos, todos vamos a pasar. <risa> Ajá. Mm. Bueno, vamos a intentarlo. Ok, you may go. Teacher. Uh -huh. y, y todas las que han armado están correctas. Yes. Balance, yes. balances. Mm -hmm. Schedule, And... schedules. Study, studies. Pay, pays. Mm -hmm. Bring, brings. Yes, they are all correct. Ooh, yeah. There you go, Herston. <laughs> yeah, we got. champion yay very nice so we have another one out here Lo logré. we need to move it <laughs> yeah we have right it was over here okay who wants to go next mm -hmm. Acaria, <laughs> vaya vaya <laughs> uh -huh. A petición no del público. A petición del público, Karen Gemina. Ok, va a ser el verbo right. Right. Ajá. A ver. Ay, qué difícil. <laughs> yes, it is. It is difficult, but I know that you uh, can do it. Everybody, you can do it. You can do it. Yay. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. All right. Thank you, Rishi. le ponemos de penitencia a ver, a ver, penitencia penalty, penalty pen I'm sorry yeah. Karen ajá, ajá. No. after me after me ajá, ajá ok, después de yes, la penitencia Flor, it's ok, it's ok, after you después go, exactly ajá, después de la penitencia a ver, ¿quién le va a poner la penitencia? vamos a ver I, uh, me, teacher. Le va a poner usted a la penitencia. Ok. No. no. Es, es, es um, como fácil, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> yeah, quite um, easy. Quite easy. Quite easy. <laughs> It's number, uh, this one, um, ten. <laughs> oh, count from one to ten. Okay, count to ten. Oh, no, I know. I know which one. I know which one. <laughs> count by fives till a one hundred. Okay, count by fives. Que cuente de cinco en cinco en English. All right. 
Let's go. Yeah. Five fives. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. From five, five to one hundred. All right. From from okay. five to one hundred. Five. Five. Ten. Uh. Twenty. Fifth. No, no, fifteen. A uh, fifteen. Twenty. Uh huh. Twenty-five. Uh-huh. Thirteen. Thirty-five. Uh, Four, <laughs> forty. 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 Uh -huh. Forty-five. Um, ya no me acuerdo. Fifty. 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 Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Sixteen. Six. Pink. <laughs> Six. Five. No, sixty-sixty-five. Uh huh. Seventy. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Uh huh. Eighty. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Ninety. No, ya no me acuerdo, Link. I think not five. Ninety-five. One hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it. Okay, there we go. Okay, Flor, just give me one second. I will write this one. Okay. Oh, teacher. Yes, you can do it. <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. Pero ya solo se nos falta, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál otro nos faltaba? Ah, wake up. Nos falta. Um, I'll say wake up. I don't know. You've got to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh -huh. Here we've got wake up, but I don't find the wake up. No, porque no está wake up, no está el, el verbo base, no ¿verdad? Está. Que no está, o si lo miran. No, no está, yo no, no lo veo. Ok, uh -huh. entonces ya solo nos Ay, queda sí, right. Sí. Ok, Ay, solo que se me... Ah, ok, ok. Mm. Es que se me borde la barra, eh, no sé. A ver si puedo hacerlo desde mi teléfono. Ok. ¡Ay, no! A ver, ¿quién le pone la penitencia? Pero no, sí, pero sí. Yeah, I'm sorry. A ver, ahora sí. A ver, ¿quién le pone la penitencia? Le damos ese honor, Karen. Póngale usted la penitencia. Karen, yo le ayudé. Ay, eso es no, Otro que la ponga. Otro que la ponga. A ver, Sergio, póngale una penitencia. A penalty. Que cante una canción en inglés. Ah, no. vaya, sí, sí. Ajá. Sing a song in English. Y va a pensar, good morning, teacher, good morning. Ah, okay, 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 okay. How are you? How are you? Uh -huh. Okay. All right, there you go. Bye, bye. Okay, solo nos falta right. ¿Alguien cree que lo puede hacer? ¿Quién lo quiere intentar? Va, ya no le vamos a poner penalti y que intente ay, a ver, pero ay, ¿qué lo tiene ay. que...? Ay, sí. Ok, dele con todo, pues. Ajá, dele con todo. No, pero la estaba... equivoqué, Sergio, pero yeah. no la tenía que dar la clase. Ahí va, ahí va. Vamos Ajá. a ver, vamos a ver. Ok. Despacito. Uh -huh. <ríe> Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No well, ninguna línea. <laughs> but you touched something else. 
trampa. Yeah, yeah, cheating, yeah. No. Don't be a cheater. Yeah, pero because toco, look at the brain. Tocó el cuadro, tocó el yeah. cuadro. Oh, pero en yeah. línea dijeron, línea dijeron. Y esa es una línea de cuadro. <laughs> Okay, let's leave it there. Okay, let's leave it there. But thank you very much, Sergio. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. All right, let's change the activity because we need to learn how to use the third person form of the verb, right? It's not just the vocabulary. We need to know how to use the third form of the verb. So let's think about the verbs. Yeah, let's think about the verbs. Mm -mm -mm. Here it is. Okay, so now we are going to write the third person form of the verb, but you are going to tell me how you spell it, okay? So, for example, the first one, play, in the third person. Play. Play. Can you please spell it? P. P. L. 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 A. 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 Y. Y. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wash. Wash it. W. W. A. 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 Thank you. What about flush? F F L Y S Y S. Are you sure? You said this. No. No, es I I I I I I I I That's correct. Help. Helps. 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 Okay. W W A T C H A E E S. Great. Like. Like. L I I K K E S S. All right. Cry. Likes. Cries. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. Now, go. 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 Yes. 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 All right. Teach. Teach. T E E A A T A H A E E E S. Okay, so it's teaches. 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 Yeah. Carry. 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 C. Let's continue. Start. Stars. 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 T 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Listen. S T A R T S. It's not air. Ash. Okay. It's R. All R. right. Continue. Kiss. Kisses. Kisses. K A I S S E S. S. Okay. There you go. Tidy. Tiles. Tiles. Tidy. Not A. This is E. It's E. Yes. Enjoy. Joyce. Joyce. E. E. N. J. A. O. O. Why? Why is why s s okay? Enjoy e n j e n j okay o y s. There you go. Mix mixes mixes i m m x i x s e s. Thank you. Okay. Now, here we've got a list, uh, a more extensive list, okay? This is a more extensive list. So let's go to the breakout rooms, okay? And we are going to... Ah, did you get the, I mean, the screenshots for those that are taking screenshots? This is the best time to do it. I will erase right, uh, right now, so I will delete it. Is it okay? Okay, I clear. Now we have this list, okay? This is the list. So you have to write the base form of each verb, okay? So let's try to do it in the breakout room just in five minutes, okay? Only five minutes. So everybody, let's go to the breakout rooms. I will send this. Queremos, teacher. Write the base form of each verb, but in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So you have, uh, well, I don't remember if it was very <laughs> Okay, there you have it on the WhatsApp, and now you've got it right here in the chat. Okay, so let's move just a little, um, and let's complete. These these are a, around forty five if I'm not wrong. So let's do it as soon as we can. So very fast, speed. All right. Help each other. Ayúdense unos a los otros. Vayan diciéndonos. Teacher, no lo guardé en el otro grupo. Lo puede enviar nuevamente. 
Um, in which group? I'm sorry. Ah, here. All right. There it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, pero la idea no es calladitos, jóvenes. A ver, todos hablando y diciéndolos. La idea es que se nos vaya quedando. Vamos. Try, try. Vamos. Has, has. Go on. All right. Wendy? Right. Has is have. Verdad? Has. All right, no. continue, continue. Continue, yes. fast, Hush. fast. <laughs> okay, there he is. Try, try. Has um, is have. Right. Eh, ahí está uh, la teacher. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Está en este. En, en tercera persona singular, ¿verdad? Exactly. And you have to write the base form of the verb. Y lo vamos a pasar a normal. Base form. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Base okay. form. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, teacher. teacher. Ok. Riders. Uh, buys, uh, riders. Sería. Uh, ride. Help each other, girls. Help each other. I want to listen to you saying them. El suyo es el 7364. Esa es. Thank you, Diane. La idea del ejercicio es la rapidez, ¿verdad? Vamos, haciéndolo así, en cinco minutos ustedes dicen, eh, trans, ¿cuál es la forma base? Which is the base form of the verb? Ok, continue, but very fast, porque ya los voy a llamar. Okay. By a drive. Hola, teacher. Sí, teacher, teacher, una pregunta. Hello. Pregunte. Hello. Vea que aquí ya está resuelto. Así con, con los que lleve, nosotros lo vamos a pasar sin que lleve eso, ¿verdad? Base form. Yes. Base form of the verb. Okay. Yes. And teacher, and. Um... Make brush, brushes, brush. Brush, eh, has, brush is have, ¿verdad? Exactly. Va, miren, la idea de este ejercicio es eh, así. Ustedes abren ahí la, la eh, imagen y empezamos. Try, try, has, have, goes, go. Ok, esto es en rapidez. There you go. Ah. Ya, vamos como por la 15. Ok, <coughs> there you go. Yay. Mm -hmm. Let's do it together, everybody. Pero quiero escucharlos haciéndolo. Vamos por... Ah, ok. Va, vamos por... Drives. ¿Por cuál nos Drive. vamos? Por makes. Makes, vamos. Drive. Makes, make. Brushes, brush. Así. Mm -hmm. Wakes up, brush. wake up. Ok. Ah, wake okay. up, washes, wash. <laughs> Drops, yes. drop. Draw. Ajá. Uh -huh. Prepare, prepare. Eh... Um, 
Comienzo. Yes, continue, continue. Okay, Don't stop. okay. Eh, eh, takes, take. Everybody, everybody. Get. No cada uno vaya. Okay. Keep, keep, keep. La siguiente. Arribis, Arribis. En la segunda Arribis. columna. En la segunda. Eh, la pregunta es Jacqueline. Ajá. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Pregunta Jacqueline. Vamos en la segunda co columna. Están uh -huh. en takes. Ah, okay. Yeah. ¿Mm? Thanks. Okay, go ahead, Jacqueline. Uh, gets, get. Get. Okay, continue, continue. Aries, Aries. Aries. Finishes, finish. Code, code. Give, give. Orders, order. Add, <laughs> add. Starts, start. Talks, talk. Cleans, clean. A ver, ¿hasta cuál llegaron Room 2? Adriana, Flor, Karen y Wendy. ¿Hasta dónde llegaron? You're muted. Hasta brushes. 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 Brush. Ok, muy bien. Very good. Very good. La idea aquí es la rapidez. Oh, ok. Okay. Y, y vamos traduciendo también. <risas> ah, no tenían que traducir, era nada más de la regla, ¿verdad? Fijarse si terminaba en E solo S, si la Y llevaba consonante, cambiarlo a IES, o sea, regresarlo a la Y, porque acuérdense que era la forma base lo que había que poner. Vamos a ver, entonces, Carla, Sergio y Walter, ¿hasta dónde llegaron? Eh, con Carla estuvimos nada más. Eh. Ah, ok, sí, pero Walter estuvo de, de oyente, Ajá. nada más. Ah, ok, Ajá. ok. Ajá. Eh, llegamos hasta, eh, hasta practice. Practice, ok, very good. Mm -hmm. Practice. Very good. Eh, vamos a ver, Dayana, María y Yolanda, ¿hasta dónde llegaron? Finish, teacher. Ah, you finished. Great. Great. Okay. Wow. Vamos a hacer. Yeah. Oh, grand sensei. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's do it all together in a very fast way. Okay. In a very fast way. This is an strategy. You are you are learning um an strategy how to memorize the things. But you must understand that here we are just uh, identifying the spelling okay the spelling and some pronunciation because we are saying them okay ¿Cuál es la, el objetivo de este ejercicio? spelling rules and pronunciation okay vale, vamos yeah. a ver entonces speed verdad vamos todos abramos aunque sea oiga como el mercado central no importa vamos tries tries has has <laughs> Go, go, la, 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 everybody. Works, work. Watch, watch, watch. 
Aquí sí tenemos que tener, en este verbo se oyó ahí por ahí algo bien terrible. Esta es con K, así. No con T. ¿okay? Si lo dicen con T, suena a una mala palabra. Se parece mucho a una mala palabra. Así que es check. 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 Uh -huh. check. Yes. Uh -huh. Not letter T, please. <laughs> okay, people. So let's pass to the next thing we have prepared because we want to talk about the time expressions today. The time expressions are given to place the actions in time. These are verbs, these are actions. So we want to go over there, okay? Just give me one moment. I'll put this thing right there. Okay, let's think about the time expressions in the present, for example, We say every day, every day. Esto es todos los días o cada día. Okay, cualquiera de las dos. Sí. Every cualquiera day. Cualquiera de las dos traducciones. Every day es todos los días, que no falta ninguno, o cada día. Okay, both. In the morning, in the morning, at noon, in the afternoon, in the evening. At night, at midnight. Esto es cuando nosotros vamos a hablar acerca de routinary actions or routinary activities. Remember, at work, at work, okay? We can also use, for example, on, okay, on, or every. Let me just move a little bit this thing. And it could be on Monday, on Tuesday. On Wednesday, esto es el lunes, el martes, el miércoles, etc. Para cualquier día de la semana que usted le ponga on, va a ser el, ¿ok? Porque nosotros los días de la semana los tenemos como masculino, ¿verdad? Sería el, el lunes, el martes, el miércoles, el jueves. No tenemos ningún la ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, 
on Monday, on Tuesday. Pero qué tal si yo hago el plural? On Mondays, on Tuesdays, on Wednesdays. Quiere decir que todos los días lunes yo hago lo que estoy diciendo que hago. ¿okay? On Mondays, los lunes. On Tuesdays, los martes. Every, every también se puede usar como todos, ¿sí? O cada, every Monday. Ahí yo lo voy a usar con singular. Every Monday. No puedo decir every Mondays, ¿ok? Voy a decir every Monday. Y puedo combinar esto. Esto lo puedo combinar, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir every Monday y decir morning, ¿ok? Every Monday morning. Every Tuesday afternoon, every Wednesday evening, ¿ok? Podemos hacer una combinación. Bien, pero ¿qué sucede cuando usamos every? Existen otras palabras que pueden sustituir ese every day, every week, every month, every year, every hour. Uh, ya hacer las partes más pequeñas de tiempo, pues ya no. Hasta hour estamos bien, ¿ok? Si yo digo every day es daily, okay? Every day means daily. Every week, weekly. Every month, monthly. Every year, yearly. Every hour, hourly. Okay? ¿Qué le agregué a eso? Oh. La L-Y, ¿verdad? All right. Daily, yes. diario. Okay? Diariamente, diario. Weekly, semanalmente. Este es mente, ¿ok? Monthly, ah, mensualmente, ¿sí? Yearly, anualmente. anualmente. Exactly. Hourly, este no tiene horariamente, ¿verdad? Este tiene cada hora, ¿ok? Ahora. Por eso, miren, venimos desde every, ¿ok? Every significa cada o todos, todas, ¿ok? Va, ¿estamos bien hasta ahí donde vamos? Yes. Estas, estas las conocían un poquito, ¿verdad? Porque ¿Y sería en cada? Eh, ¿Perdón? Ahí la traducción sería eh, every daily cada, cada día. Sí, porque puede ser every, puede ser cada, puede ser todos de acuerdo al contexto en donde lo vamos a encontrar. ¿okay? De acuerdo al contexto. Porque yo puedo decir, I work every day. Pero I don't work exactly daily porque el fin de semana no trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, y no me pagan diario, ¿verdad? I work every day, every day, from Monday through Friday, right? Entonces, ahí se va haciendo como la diferencia en el contexto. Pero su significado que debemos aprender es que every lo podemos usar para todos o para cada. Cualquiera de las dos expresiones, it's okay. En esto lo que tenemos que aprender es que hay preposiciones de tiempo. Prepositions of time. Prepositions of time. In, at, miren, in, at, y esta que tenemos acá, on. Estas son las que on. más problemas nos puede dar, ¿verdad? In, on, at. In, on, at. Entonces veamos un poquito cómo es que esto se utiliza. El in, on, at. Porque son, va, miren. Una de las cosas es que no hay una regla específica para decir, ah, se usa cuando esto. No, esto tiene que aprenderse por las expresiones ya hechas, ¿ok? Expresiones ya hechas. La única pista que podríamos tener es que at es un tiempo preciso. Time, pre precise time, ¿ok? Precise time, tiempo preciso. In es cuando nosotros hablamos de months, years, decades, centuries, or seasons, ¿verdad? Meses, años, décadas, siglos y estaciones, ¿verdad? O temporadas. On lo vamos a usar cuando ya no solo sea el mes que estamos diciendo o solo el año, sino que una fecha completa o una fecha específica, aunque sea como una special occasion, como una celebration también. Entonces, vamos a ver, tenemos on para days and dates. Days and dates. Y 
como decíamos allá, on Sunday, puedo usarlo en singular para decir el lunes, o puedo usarlo en plural, ¿verdad? Como decir el martes, en plural, todos los martes, sería on Tuesdays, ¿verdad? Los martes, on Tuesdays. Por ejemplo, on Tuesday we have a special price, ¿verdad? On Tuesday we offer special discounts, ¿ok? El, los martes tenemos descuentos especiales, ¿verdad? So, we say los, on, on Tuesday, los. Ok, specific dates and full dates, complete dates. For example, we say on the 6th of March, ok? On the 6th of March. We can say it as an American form and we will say on March the 6th, but it's going to be the same, on. On the 25th of December of 2010, right? On Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday, on my birthday, okay? On New Year's Eve, porque estas son fechas específicas que tienen un nombre que las identifica, pues claro que sí. Entonces, decimos on, ¿verdad? On. Um, on es para days and dates, completo. Pero tenemos otras expresiones de tiempo muy importantes y que nos ayudan mucho. Por ejemplo, esta palabra times, okay, times, puede ser contable y puede ser no contable. No contable sería time, time. Pero aquí estamos hablando de veces, no de tiempos. Estamos hablando de ni de tiempo, sino que de veces. How many times a day do you check your email? Las respuestas pueden ser once a day, okay? una vez al día, once a day. Puede ser twice a day, dos veces al día. Three times a day, porque ya no hay otra palabra que designe, entonces ya vamos con números. A partir del tres, son three times, ¿verdad? En esta no va a ser one time, ni en esta va a ser two times. Va a ser once a day, twice a day. En esta ya es número, three times a day. Y si fueran cuatro veces, ¿cómo diríamos? Four times, Four times a, day. a day. Exactly. Y si lo miramos así como un montón de veces, muchas veces, ¿cómo lo diríamos? Many times Many. a day. Entonces, many times a day, many, many times, times a, day. a day, exactly. So, how many times a day do you check your email, Juan Carlos? How many times a day do you check your email? Uh, one, one times a day. Okay, eso como se dice? Once a day. Once a day. Exactly. Once, once, no once. Once a, así once once a, a day. Once a day. Once. <laughs> once. Yes. Once yes. a day. Okay, Flor, how many times a day do you check your email? Mm. Many times a day. All right. Harrison Osvaldo, how many times a day do you check your email? You're muted. Sorry. <laughs> and I was like... Um, many times a day. Thank you. Sergio, how many times a day do you check your email? Many times a day I check email. Ok. Estas expresiones van al final. Ok. Estas expresiones van al final. Primero digo, I check my email once a day. Ok. Right, vamos a ver. Yes, Sergio, please repeat. I check my email many times a day. Thank you very much. Maria Fernanda, now you, how many times a day do you check your email? I check my email once a day. All right, very good. Vanessa, how many times a day do you check your email? Uh, 
many things a day. Many times. Many times a day. Many times. Mm -hmm. Many times a day. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Ahora, Vanessa, por favor, hágale la pregunta a Carla. Ask the question to Carla Nayeli. How many times a day do you check your email? Twice a day. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now you, Carla, please ask the question to another classmate. Uh, you tell me, you choose. A quien yo quiera. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. A Kimberly, how many times a day do you check your email, Kimberly? I check my email uh, once a day. Okay, now, please, Kimberly, you may ask the question to another classmate. Choose. Escojalo, choose. Diana. How many times a day do you shed your email? I shed my email many times a day. Very good. Many times. Okay. Many times. Porque si no se oye como una, un error. Si yo digo many times, eh, lo correcto debiera ser much. Okay. Much time. Okay. Si yo no pronuncio la S, me van a decir, hey, pero eso se dice much. Eh, y ya no sería lo mismo de veces. Y ahí sería mucho tiempo. Mucho tiempo. Exactamente. Entonces, sí tenemos que tener cuidado con la pronunciación porque si no significa otra cosa, ¿ok? Vaya, vamos a ver entonces. Regresemos, Adriana, y lo dice con esta letra S. Vamos. I check my email many times a day. Great. Yes. También podemos nosotros utilizar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, combinadas, como les decía, once every three months, ¿verdad? Aquí ya combiné todito, combiné números, tiempos exactos, combiné todos, combiné cada, y al mismo tiempo co combino las veces, ¿verdad? So, once every three months, three times a month, right? Three times a month. For example, if I ask you, how often do you visit the doctor? How often do you visit the doctor? You can tell me, I don't know, you tell me. How often do you visit the doctor? A, a, let's see. Miss Wendy. ¿Qué tan seguido visita el doctor? How often do you visit the doctor? ¿Cuántas veces? How many times a month do you visit the doctor? María Fernanda? I visit Sorry, a, Wendy a doctor. Oh, es que vemos dos Wendy's. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't see. I didn't see. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, but... Just give me one second, Wendy. Maria Fernanda was answering, okay? Vamos a ver. Okay. I, I visit a doctor once every three months. Okay. Very good. Very good answer. Exactly. A ver, Wendy Baires. Uh, oh. Se le oye uh, cortado. Two, uh, sorry, tengo problemas con el internet. Oh, ok. Y entra el salido. Uh, 
many ayunas. Okay, twice a month. Yes. You can write it on the chat if you want, okay? Mientras, eh, por, por lo del internet, lo puede escribir en el chat y así sí. lo vemos, cabalito, porque si no le, no le capté mucho porque okay. se oía cortado. Okay? okay? Thank you, Wendy. Okay, people, so we can make the combination as we wish, depending on the time that we uh, perform that action. Okay, so these are time expressions for definite time. Y tenemos dos palabras muy importantes, early and late. Okay, early and late. We divide the day when we talk about our routine, I mean, our, our daily routine. When we talk about the activities we do every day, for example, we divide the day in, the day in all these parts, okay? In the morning, at noon, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, at midnight. No podemos decir at the morning. Okay, eso no existe. Existe in the morning. No voy a decir in the noon. Voy a decir at noon. Entonces, es necesario e importante e imperativo que nos aprendamos la frase completa. Entonces, yo, me, yo sé que existen in, at, on, pero ¿con qué frases va? Ah, entonces mejor aprendámonos la frase completa. Y tenemos por acá, in the morning. Yeah? Nunca voy a decir on the morning. Nunca voy a decir at the morning. At midnight. Nunca voy a decir in the midnight. Voy a decir at midnight. Y puede ser early o puede ser late. Early normalmente. Normally, what do we refer to? ¿A qué nos referimos con early? Mañana. In the morning, right? Temprano. Very temprano. early. Pero también podemos combinarlo como temprano después del almuerzo, ¿verdad? Temprano en la tarde. ¿Ya? Podemos decir late in the evening or late at night, ¿sí? Aunque también podemos decirle a alguien, go to bed early at night. O sea, andate rapidito, temprano, andate a dormir. O sea, no deje que pase mucho tiempo. Entonces, no está limitado solo a la mañana. Lo entendemos así porque es lo normal. Pero sí se puede combinar, ¿verdad? Por eso estamos hablando de time expressions. ¿Sí? Early in the morning, late at night. ¿Ok? There we go. So now we know the time expressions that we can use and we are going to use them, okay? We are going to use them, all right? Okay, in our manuals, we have these uh, time expressions. These are expressions for regular activities. Todas las que hemos hablado, las eh, expresiones de tiempo son para actividades regulares. Son para el tiempo presente y hablar de routinary activities. Tenemos, por ejemplo, every day, every week, every month, every year, daily, weekly, monthly, etc. How do we use the time expressions with daily activities like routines or timetables? Timetables son esas eh, cuadritos que normalmente les hacemos a los niños, ¿verdad? Cuando van a la escuela, le ponemos la hora y a qué horas le toca hacer cada cosa, ¿verdad? O cuando en la casa, por ejemplo, le decimos que alguien queda responsable de lavar los trastos los lunes, ¿ya? El otro los lava los martes. Y así, eso es una time Table. Ponemos el, la hora y ponemos la actividad de que se va a realizar a esa hora, ¿verdad? For example, eh, vamos a decir por acá. What do you do at, at, miren, what do you do every day at 
7 a.m. Okay. What do you do, Sergio, at 7 a.m.? I. You are muted. Uh, I drive at work. Mm -hmm. I drive to work. To work. Exactly. I drive to work. Thank you very much. Ahora, si yo le pregunto a Diana, por ejemplo, what do you do on Monday's afternoon? What do you do on Monday's afternoon? I... I check my lead client. Is this what you said? No. no. I check my list of clients. Oh, my list of clients. Very good. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. I check my list of clients. Very nice. Okay. Ahora, um, uh, si yo le pregunto a um, Yolanda, for example, what time do you have lunch? Mm -hmm. At... Uh, at uh, 2 p.m. Okay. 2 o'clock p.m. Very good, 2 o'clock p.m. All right. Vamos a ver, vamos a poner una hora acá y otra hora por Richard, acá. Tell me. Ahí también se hubiera podido eh, at midnight. Yes, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you do at midnight? No, o sea, yo le me refería a la pregunta anterior de Yolanda. Yolanda has lunch. At midnight? No, porque es medianoche. No Media almorzamos noche. a medianoche. Tendría que ser at noon. noon. Ah, at noon. Ajá. At noon es mediodía. At noon. Pero mediodía es casi que exactamente a las 12, ¿verdad? Aquí y es en que en países. esa 2 tenía la duda. Por eso ah, yo por lo okay. Pero sí, claro que sí puede. Para decir, when do you have lunch? I have lunch at noon. Yeah. At midnight sería uh, eh, el 24 de diciembre. Eh, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have Christmas dinner, <laughs> right? Ajá. Uh -huh. We wait for Santa Claus. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. the child was born. Yeah, nació el niño, right? Okay, so at midnight, I watch horror movies, right? I watch horror movies at midnight. Ooh. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Do you go to the Necro tours? Uh, do you like the necro tours over there in the cemetery? Les gustan eso, les gustaría ir a esos necro tours del cementerio que hacen los del Ministerio de Cultura en el en el cementerio de los ilustres. Así no, es. no, neither do I. No way. No, I don't go. No, this is just kidding My because I don't watch brother. horror movies. Mm -hmm. Does she like it? Oh my goodness, your daughter goes. Oh my God. Okay, let's say another time. My For brother. Oh, your brother. Oh, all right, all right. Nice. Oh, oh my goodness, no, I, I, I never, I think I never think about it, about going. Okay, at midnight and let's say another, um, what do you do at five o'clock p.m.? And your job. What do you do at 5 p.m.? Uh 
Uh -huh. Leave work. Do you still work at that time? I, I live. Ah, I leave work. Okay, I live nice. Work. Great. I leave work. Excellent. Okay, so we say the time and we say the activity. This is a timetable that we just fill in, you know, with different activities. Pero eh, es la misma eh, teoría, ¿verdad? Es la misma teoría. Entonces, a estudiar las time expressions, acuérdense que el tiempo, el día se divide y en esos días que dividimos, ¿verdad? Perdón, en esas horas que dividimos tienen su nombre. In the morning. Tiene que ir esa, esa preposición. Si yo digo una diferente, me equivoqué y no me van a entender lo mismo. ¿Ok? Bien. Guys, we are going to call the roll. So, please, everybody, remember the requirement, the requirement is that you have to turn your camera on. And please say present when you hear your name. Adriana Lisset Chavez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez Arevalo. Flor de María Valladares de Torres. Present, teacher. Okay, Francisco Javier Quinteros de Echeverría. Present, teacher. Okay, Gerson Osvaldo Dera Santana. Present. Uh, okay, Wendy, until now I'm seeing your answer three times a year. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your answer. Uh, 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 ahora, vamos con Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Present. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Present. Nemina Membreño. Present. Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. Present. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Díaz. Present. María Fernanda Morán Rivas. Present. Merari Andrea Sánchez Facundo. Salomón Heriberto Rivera Chacón. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Girón. Present. Walter Amilca Ramírez Molina. Present. Wendy Sofía Orellana Calderón. Wendy Janet Baires Rojas. I am here, teacher. Great. Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, people. So tonight, the turn of the session one on one is for Diana Elizabeth. Okay. Please do and submit your homework on the platform. Thank you very much for joining and see you tomorrow. Have a very good night. Good, day. See you good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank good you, good rest. Good bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Adios. Adios, everybody. Adios, Yolanda. Adriana. Good night. Good night, teacher Sergio. <laughs> Adios. Good night, teacher Sergio. Okay, Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Good night, teacher. I don't know why they tell you that. They call you that, but it's okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Good night, teacher. Good night, Flor. <laughs> okay, here Hi. we are, Diana. Is there any question uh, that I can assist you with? Yes. Okay, tell me. Let me know. Yesterday I was a uh, three question, but uh, I can. I couldn't. Okay. I Tell couldn't. me. Don't worry. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
you put a, a list of uh, mm -hmm. vocabulary. Of words, vocabulary, and uh -huh. I don't know uh, the meaning of three. Some words, okay. Mm -hmm. Apply, apply. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This appliances. Son todos uh, los devices uh, eléctricos. Appliances are the things like the blender, como la licuadora, the printer, la impresora, the coffee maker, um, appliances, eh, electrodomésticos, pero cosas eléctricas de la oficina en este caso. Por eso dice office appliances, right? Como decir si tiene que encender incluso un sacapunta, ¿verdad? Que sea eléctrico. O sea, cosas el electrical things. Yeah. You have to plug in. Mm -hmm. Ok. The second is warehouse. Warehouse is the place where they keep the, the merchandise. Is la bodega. bodega. I go to the warehouse. warehouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bodega. Uh, okay. Issue. Issue. Yeah. Issue invoices. Esto es facturar. Así completo. Yeah. Issue invoices es facturar. O preparar las facturas. I el detalle de las facturas. Three, but I don't see the last one. Okay, you told me three. Issue. Office appliances, warehouse, and issue invoices. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Office, warehouse, issue invoices. Okay, thank you. And... Uh, today I have uh -huh. three more. Okay, tell me. Yes, and today I have three more. Uh -huh. Clue. Which one? No le escuché. I have three more today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Two. Two. ¿En dónde estaba esa? Where was it? Clue. Like this clue. Mm -hmm. Clue. Clue es como la pista. When we talked about the time expressions, clue. was it? I can't get it. Can you write it down? Or please, how do you spell it? Um, in the beginning, only uh -huh. say that. I'm not, able, I'm not able to hear you. I can barely hear you. Mm -hmm. okay. Garbage? At the beginning of garbage. the... Garbage, basura. 
Garbage, basura. C O U. H. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Bring. Was it? Was it in the time expressions? Bring. Bring. Traer. Bring. Sorry, I have. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. ¿Y cuál and era la I otra? was <laughs> the last one. I know quickly is rápido o algo yes, similar. Yes, quickly is but... very fast. Quickly is very fast. Uh -huh. But. But uh, in the every, when put daily, quickly, monthly. Oh, no, no, that's the weekly. Same writing no, no, no. Or is no, different? no, different, completely, completely different. That's weekly. Weekly is semanalmente, weekly. I'm looking for it. Weekly. Can you see? Weekly. Mm -hmm. And the other very fast is quickly. Quickly with a letter Q. Okay. Yeah, like this. Quickly. Okay. This is very okay. fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's only that. Only that? I only have questions for vocabulary. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. It's okay and very good because you take notes. Yeah. It seems that you are paying attention. Yeah. So, yes. yes, that's good to know. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, then. Um, what about the homework in the platform? Did you do your homework? No, yet. I not yet. do that today. Oh, okay. I will be do today. Mm -hmm. I have problem with my internet. <laughs> yes, it's kind of retarding. <laughs> the the the. Uh, it's very slow. It's very slow. This is why. Okay, but in the um in the homework, okay, in the homework, you have just to uh, place the third person and the um, time expressions. Okay, so you you have okay. to do one and two. All right, one and two. And if you want to work in advance, do it. Okay. Okay. Do it, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Okay, thank you. My pleasure, no problem. So, mm -hmm. see you tomorrow. Have a very good night, Diana. Thanks, uh, me too. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye, good night. Okay, good night, bye-bye.